So hello folks and welcome back to the Keeper Active YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing an interview with the founders over at Supernotes. Supernotes is an application, a note-taking application, primarily focused at students, but it is pretty uh, open plan in terms of who can use it. And uh, it definitely caught my eye a couple of months ago and uh, I reached out to Tobias and Connor um, just seeking uh, a little bit more understanding of what Supernotes is about, what their vision is, and what future features they aim to release. So in today's video, you'll get an interview, and one of my first questions is all about what is Supernotes to get you uh, up to scratch. But I hope you enjoy this video, hope you enjoyed this interview, and uh, please do subscribe if you're brand new. And a big thanks to Tobias and Connor for coming on and taking their time up to explore this topic. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Supernotes is, uh, at the moment, uh, it's an online platform for note-taking and um, building sort of a knowledge base. Um, so there's, you know, other, other people, I think kind of we, we inherit a lot of ideas from, from other apps and, and from other tools, um, you know, but I think you can, you can think of it in similar ways to uh, Evernote or Microsoft OneNote or uh, Notion or Roam or... Obsidian or any of the other kind of things that are trying to be uh, a knowledge base. Um, I think what makes Supernodes different is that um, rather than focus on, I think we've we've seen in the space we've seen kind of two main um, sort of main modalities of of how to structure your notes. There's sort of the document format and then the bullet point format. So there's um, so for example, um, Rome or Workflowy or other apps like that. Um, in the UK, there's um, schema as well. Um, so there's, there's a bunch that are kind of focusing on the, on the bullet point format. Um, and then there's everyone else, which is basically the document format. So, you know, um, you know, OneNote and Evernote and all those in Notion. Um, and so the, the way that we're, that we're different from, from other sort of note-taking and knowledge-based apps is that we focus on a, we, we've built the platform around a card format. Um, so, you know, we really like this format. We think it gives a lot of flexibility um, to how you can structure your notes. Um, and, but one of the most important things for us is to make note taking a collaborative experience um, and to make it so that you can really share your knowledge base uh, with other people and kind of share small pieces of your knowledge base so you can all kind of collaborate on little bits and bobs so that in the end you kind of each have a unique collection of, of all your notes, um, but it's sort of unique for each person. Um, so kind of that's, that's the whole idea of Supernotes is that we've built this platform around cards uh, which will allow you to sort of instantly compartmentalize knowledge and then very easily share it uh, with other people. So that's the that's the gist. Love it. And uh, I really liked the as I was telling you guys before. I love the design. I love the the way that you put the app together, and, and especially for those people who are collaborating, it it makes it a fun fun experience to use it. Um, and that sort of like leads me on to the it's like what is your long term plan? If I said to you guys like in a year's time. Where do you see yourself um, with the application? Uh, I know we, you mentioned it before that you're using quarantine to get a few updates out. Um, so, like, how do you see yourself evolving? Well, sort of our goal at the end of the day is to build a tool that you can really rely on to keep all of your information in one place and have it readily available. Uh, when we started building Supernotes, one of the main use cases was to solve how to encourage uh, social note taking among students. And sort of an issue we had both at university is that people like to share information with each other, but that was spread across all over the different places. So we had to have some stuff in their email, we had stuff in your university learning management system, such as Moodle or Blackboard, and there were WhatsApp groups and note-taking productivity apps. And so it was so um, fragmented, nothing sort of made sense together. And so our goal is trying to, be, trying to homogenize everything and put all of your learning in one place that improves that experience significantly by making it painless to keep everything, everything together. And sort of our, our vision is to try and help everyone build more productive connect connections with each other. Um, so I think you think one of the, the one of the interesting sort of paradigms is that note taking has always been a very passive experience traditionally. You take notes and that's sort of it. And recent uh, applications such as Google Docs have made real time collaboration possible, but that creates a new problem because there's only one person writing. Uh, creating their own notes, and then everyone else is just watching and maybe may occasionally comment. But with Supernotes, everyone is creating their own note cards and sharing them with others in real time, and that's sort of like a true collaborative experience and very engaging. And the best thing about this, about this is you'll have people write down their thoughts from different perspectives, and in the process, you create a more comprehensive understanding of that topic than you would traditionally have with other apps. And so that's one of our you know, biggest uh, selling points, one of the biggest USPs of Supernotes is that note card format. Yeah, and it's... Um 
it's a bit different from other apps and and that was my next question like how do you see yourself fitting in the market with um these different apps do you see yourself as an assisting tool to say the likes of notion and other tools um because obviously you guys mentioned use a bit of notion in the background um so how do you see yourself in the market at the moment yeah so i i think we do very much see ourselves as a as a mostly a complementary tool um in many ways uh so just as an example right and and back to notion for a second um, we actually had a user ask us the other day if it was possible to embed Supernotes cards into Notion documents. Um, turns out it's not, you can embed the entire application. They, they just, you know, did the whole embed thing in Notion. And, and it turns out Supernotes can kind of run within Notion, uh, which is cool. Um, but, but with, and we didn't know about. Uh, so that's always fun, you know, when, when somebody uh, fills us in on, on a feature that, that we didn't realize we had. Um, but, um, but, you know. Currently, you can't embed Supernotes cards into, uh, like, singular cards into a Notion document. Um, but that is sort of speaking of, you know, roadmaps and the things that we're building. That's uh, one thing we're currently building is we want um, to be, we want Supernotes to be a tool where you can kind of compile knowledge and kind of keep it all in one place. But then if, you're, if you are using other tools, uh, that you can then embed Supernotes uh, into that tool as well. Um, so... That's kind of, again, where the, the note card format really shines because it's kind of, if you think about embedding a tweet, uh, right? Mm. You can sort of just yeah. have that tweet that's embedded. Um, but obviously, if that tweet changes or anything, then because it's an embedded tweet and not a copy of it, uh, then the changes will be updated and reflected as well. So that's kind of something that we want to have as well, where you can kind of embed a super notes card um, mm. anywhere you want. Um, and then obviously, because you know it's, it's there, if, if the original user ever sort of updates it and fleshes it out or anything like that, um, then that will still be available to you. Um, so we, we do very much see it as a, as a complementary tool. Um, but there are some aspects of Supernotes that, that are somewhat unique in terms of how you can structure content and therefore how you can collaborate with other people uh, that at the same time aren't really possible um, with other apps. So that's something that we're trying to work towards as well is to really allow you to have uh, a really flexible structure uh, that you don't really find uh, in other places. Yeah, I love that embeddable idea because, like, I can see even like primary school teachers that make these revision pages for their students, like, they could include that in there, or even like lecturers that are bringing together documents. Yeah, it's a really nice idea. And um, you touched on there a few of the features that you're working on. Do you have any features that you have in line? Like, recently you launched the backlinks. Um, do you have any features in updates that you'd like to share, or is it all sort of no, we're, we're very open about it. We, we love working with our community. I think that's one of the most exciting things is we recently launched a new community forum and we've had some amazing responses from people there about feature requests and sort of ideas and sharing their notes with each other. So that's really awesome. And um, the next few weeks, we're actually releasing Supernotes 1.5 and that's going to include some fundamental new, new changes. Uh, there'll be a design refresh with the sidebar and we're including drag and drop. So the ability to drag cards onto each other and add them inside each other and sort of move them around as well. So it's very, very intuitive, very quick, sort of, you know, you can pick it up as you go. Um, there's also one really exciting feature is, is friends. So mm -hmm. you'll be able to make friends in Supernotes now and combined with drag and drop, that's super powerful. So we could be friends together on Supernotes and I can drag and drop a note card and you can immediately get that note card and, and, and interact with it and add new cards inside that or comment on it and whatever you might want to do. So that's incredibly modular and really exciting. We've had a lot of requests on the, on the forum and um, sort of for a command prompt. And so that's one of the things we've also been developing. So the ability to immediately just write down anything, any action you'd like, and you can just um, use the command prompt for that. Um, and then at the same time with, with the 1.5 release, a bit, a bit later, we'll be releasing our desktop apps. So we've been working on those as well and been really highly requested. So it'll be available on Mac, Windows and Linux. And so that's one of some of the really exciting new features and sort of beyond that, um, some really cool things as well. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and I think one of the, in this next upcoming update, which should be, you know, I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, say, you know, make, make myself, <laughs> force myself to, to do it out at a certain time. Um, but uh, it should be out in the next two weeks. Um, but, you know, one thing we are really excited about the friends, because that's something that um, we haven't really seen before uh, in other, in other sort of note taking apps. Uh, it's not really, uh, I don't know if it's not a priority or, uh, you know, if it just doesn't work as well in some, you know, systems. Um, but I think it is really exciting, the idea of having friends, because uh, I think one thing about Supernotes is that there's a lot of the other apps in the space, um, when it comes to collaboration, it's mostly about 
collaborating with teams. Um, so if you think about Notion, for example, right, they've now made their personal, um, so the personal package free for everybody, which is really cool. Um, but kind of the, the way they are structuring their business and the way they want to make money in the long term is to sell it to teams, right? So you have, you know, a workspace for your entire team. Um, and that's kind of what everybody else seems to be doing as well. Um, it's kind of a personal is cheap or free. And then there's kind of a, a team subscription. Um, and what we're really excited about with Supernotes is that um, we are really trying to sort of fill that gap um, in collaboration where there's people that you share information and knowledge with in your life that aren't on a team with you, but you still want to share things with. So, you know, your mom or your brother or your significant other um, or a friend or your boss or really anybody that's not, you know, you're, you don't have a shared workspace with that person, um, but you want to share content with that person. Um, that's really what we see as one of the, the powerful features of Supernotes. Um, so, so kind of the, the whole idea of friends is that you can have all those people as friends and then very easily and seamlessly, um, you know, share any card you want, um, with, with people, right? So just the other day, uh, my, my sister is a, is a pastry chef and, um, you know, she shared some recipes with me, uh, on super notes. And we're, so we're really just trying to make that as easy as possible. Um, but so that's what we're really excited about in terms of friends, which should be out soon. Um, but then there's like a lot of, a lot of other things we, we have. <laughs> On Notion, we have a table of uh, features that we kind of want to implement, um, and I think it's 120, 120, yeah. 120 <laughs> items in that table. Um, so there's like a lot of a lot of things we're working towards, um, but I think one of the the big ones that's been pretty widely requested and that you've seen in other apps is a graph view um, mm. of your cards, right? So the cool thing about Supernotes is that not only can you have um, sort of the hyperlink, like you'll see on, um, well, on Notion or Rome. Um, so you can have that sort of hyperlink feature, which obviously results in a graph. Um, but we also have this, um, you know, nesting uh, structure as well, right? On Supernotes, you can nest cards within other cards. So you have the structured hierarchy. Um, but what's somewhat unique to, to Supernotes is that you can have multiple parents, uh, right? So it's not just kind of a top-down tree. It actually is another kind of graph. Uh, so one thing we want on Supernotes is to be able to represent that as a singular graph um, where you can see both the links between cards, but also kind of the structured hierarchy that we're creating as well. And then one of the, the most exciting things is that you can combine that with friends as well. So you can imagine this now. So you can see your, your tree of knowledge and these amazing new, way, new ways to sort of like filter your, your, your cards and your content. But then I can also see those connections that you've made with your friends. So you can see those you've shared your recipes with, you can see those that you've got, you, you work with and see how your knowledge is really structured and interact with everyone else. And I think that's something that's so unique and powerful. And then being able to just go and drag and drop a node onto someone else's face and share that, that part of them will be intensely powerful. So we're trying to make that happen. And then combining that with sort of another, a few later features such as the share pages and embedding um, note cards and into existing content and so that's share page is going to be a really big uh, feature. So the idea is that you can cherry pick your favorite note cards and then have a public URL, similar to how Notion does it. You know, they've done it great, really, really good job on that. And uh, so you can just have your favorite content up publicly for anyone anywhere. And then also we've had a lot of requests sort of for the learning side of things because Supernotes is that, is that note card format people have been asking about space repetition, similar to how Anki mm -hmm. has been doing it, but it's sort of very fluid and very easy to use. And so we're trying to sort of come up with a really good way to design and, and use that functionality. I just think one of the, the, the coolest things about Supernotes is there's so many directions we can go with it because we've built this, this format to be as modular as possible. Uh, we really want to make this as powerful as we can, but also keep it quite simple and easy to start with. Um, and you sort of discover that as you, as you get along. So, yeah. Blimey, yeah. That's a good amount of updates. Uh, so yeah. we'll, see you, we'll see you at Christmas, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when, you, when you finally get a break. 2021. <laughs> 2021, yeah. Fresh start to the year. Um, that's brilliant. Um, and the thing is that it's quite a nice standalone app. So, um, yeah, it's really, really exciting. So th thanks, guys, for taking the time out. Um, where can people find Super Notes and you guys after um, hearing about uh, all the exciting things that are coming up? Yeah, well, our, our landing page is on supernotes.app. Um, so you can go there to see, you know, general thing and, and get on the platform. Uh, we're also, I'm trying to be a little bit more active on Twitter. Uh, Tobias is already already <laughs> somewhat active, but, um, you know, I, I'm trying to, to get a little bit more locked into the, into the productivity space so that we, I can really, you know, share ideas with people and all that. Um, but, but yeah, find us on Twitter where supernotes app uh, pretty much everywhere. 
um, on all the social media yeah. channels. On Facebook, on Instagram, you can follow us there. We try and sort of post as much as we can. And we'll, we know we have a blog post as well on productivity if you're interested in that on our blog. And yeah, we, we try. if you have any questions, feel free to tweet any of us or get on our community forum. We'd love to hear your thoughts over there. So that's sort of, sort of the best way to get in touch with us. Lovely, jolly. Well, it's been brilliant chatting, guys, and uh, stay safe up there, yeah? Yeah, it's been great chatting with you. You too. Lovely.